Uh, welcome to Mathematics for Simon. I'm Simon. Today we're going to look at the A-level mathematics subject of permutations and combinations. There was a previous version of this video, but um, Andy Robert Shaw, who keeps an eye on my videos for me, there's a number of people that look at my videos and peer review them, and Andy um, found a mistake in it, so here's a new version. Thank you, Andy, for spotting the mistake. So, first questions. I mean, permutations and combinations is basically about how many ways you can choose things, how many ways you can put things in order, it's that sort of thing. So first question is, how many seven letter words can we make from 26 letters? Um, and we're including all words here. So this is not just words in the English language or in French language, just any sequence of letters, any, any seven letter sequence. So the answer is 26 for the first, 26 for the second, 26 times 26 times 26 times 26, 26 to the power 7, which is 8,031,810,176. So really quite a lot. Um, how many seven letter words can we make if we don't repeat a letter? So in this case, we've got 26 choices for the first, but only 25 for the second, 24 for the third, and so on. We've got 20 choices for the seventh letter. So that is... 3,315,312,000. So it's quite a lot smaller. So just before we go on, we're going to define some terms. So the first is 26 with this uh, exclamation mark we call 26 factorial. So that is 26 times 25 times 24 times 23. That's a really big number. That's approximately 4 times 10 to the 26, a 4 with 26 noughts on. Um, so what we can write, this is useful in all sorts of ways, uh, and clearly factorials are big numbers, but we can write 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 times 21 times 20 is 26 factorial over 19 factorial. That's a, a neat way to write it. So how many teams of seven people in specified positions, can we choose from a class of 26 people? So let's say we've got a team of seven, we want a goalkeeper, we want a fullback, we want a, a striker, whatever it might be. Then we've got um, 26 choices for the first, 25 for the next, 24 for the next, 23 and so on, times 20, uh, which again, we can write as 26 factorial over 19 factorial. By the way, if I was a school, I would not have been picked in this team. Um, I was often picked last for teams, although well, things have got better since then. Anyway, let's not get bogged down in that. So the point is, this number, the number of ways of choosing seven people from 26, where we care about the order, is 26p7, uh, or, you know, we permute seven from 26, p open bracket 26, comma seven, close bracket. And in general, NPR, is n factorial over n minus r factorial. So in this case, we've got 26 factorial on the top and 26 minus 7, which is 19 factorial on the bottom. Um, so how many squads of seven people with positions not specified can we choose from a class of 26? Well, this is quite interesting. So let's say you start with a squad of people where the position is not specified. How many ways can you put them in position? Well, there's seven ways to choose the goalkeeper, then you've got six ways to choose the striker, then five ways to choose the fullback, and so on. So actually, if you've got a squad with people not in position, the number of ways of choosing is seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, seven factorial. So actually, if you want to know how many ways to choose a squad with positions not specified, we can start with the number of ways to choose with positions specified and then divide by seven factorial because that's the ratio between the two. So here it's 26 factorial over 19 factorial, seven factorial. Um, for what it's worth, seven factorial is 5,040 when you multiply that up. Should we do that in our heads? We can do it in our heads, come on, it's not hard. One times two is two, times three is six, times four is 24, times five is 120, times six, I've not prepared this, times six is 720, 720 times 7 is, it's obviously 5,040 because 700 times 7 is 4,900 and then 7 times 20 is 140. Yay! So 
we write this as 26C7, or we write it like this in brackets. And in general, the number of ways of choosing are members of a set uh, from a set of size n. If we ignore the order, if we ignore the positions, if we ignore the order, it's ncr, which is n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. Um, and one place where this comes up in A-level mathematics and in future mathematics is the binomial theorem. So x plus 1 to the power n is uh, nc0 x to the n, nc1 x to the n minus 1, nc2 x to the n minus 2, dot, 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 plus ncn. And so the way that breaks out is x to the n plus n x to the n minus 1 plus n n minus 1 over 2 x to the n minus 2. If we actually work out these um, these coefficients, what we call the binomial coefficients. Um, so for instance, uh, nc2 here is going to be n factorial over n minus 2 factorial and 2 factorial. 2 factorial is just 2. And then we're going to divide by n minus 2 factorial, which is going to leave us with n, n minus 1 on the top. Let's do the next one just to make ourselves feel good. The next one is going to be um, n c3, which is going to be n factorial on the top. And then we're going to divide by 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial on the bottom. So 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And then you're going to divide by n minus 3 factorial. So you end up with n, n minus 1, n minus 2 on the top, etc. And on we go. So here's an example. x plus 1 to the power 4 is x to the 4 plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 1. And then x plus 1 to the power 5, which is um, x to the 5 plus 5x to the 4 plus 10x cubed plus 10x squared plus 5x plus 1. Um, and then x plus 1 to the power 6 is x to the power 6 plus 6x to the power 5 plus 15x to the power 4 plus 20x cubed plus 15x squared plus 6x plus 1. I'm not quite sure why I expanded x plus 1 to the fifth as x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. Maybe just as a reminder, but that's what it is. And if you want to, you can multiply it out longhand. And you'll get the same same results. I must have written that down for a reason. Um, anyone who wants to guess the reason I write that down, please write it in the comments. Now I'm only kidding. I hope you like this video. You're very welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'd love to hear your ideas. And most of all, the most important thing is I hope you enjoy your mathematics.